Sonia here, again, in my kitchen, and today, I'm going to be talking to you about more food quality stuff, but one thing that I had thrown away in my cabinet was the Hershey's syrup, the Hershey's chocolate syrup, and the reason why I threw it away was because it had high fructose corn syrup and also corn syrup and a bunch of other shit that you probably don't want to even know about. Now, there was a lot of ingredients in something that just was supposed to be chocolate syrup. So, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make and to show you how to make your own chocolate syrup. Now, I'm going to be using some organic uh, cocoa powder and my favorite stuff to use, sucrose. So basically table sugar. We're going to add table sugar. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate. Sugar, especially sucrose, is not bad for you. What is bad for you is Splenda, Aspartame, Saccharin, all the artificial sweeteners, and especially high fructose corn syrup. And the reason why high fructose corn syrup is actually bad for you, and please do not listen to those stupid fucking commercials that say that it isn't bad for you and that it's, that it's good in moderation and, and all that bullshit because it isn't true. The Corn Refiners Association spent $30 million on that TV campaign and there is research right now being done in Princeton University by, by a professor, a Bart Hobel, that is specifically showing that high fructose corn syrup and a sucrose are totally different. High fructose corn syrup, the way that it is delivered in your body, produces fat and it causes you fat. So, and the way that it does it, I will explain that. The way that it does that is the sucrose a molecule goes off and is basically um, assimilated into the body. But the fructose a molecule is, is now free floating and it's not a simple sugar. It, it's supposed to be a, a simple sugar but it's a dual sugar when it is delivered in high fructose corn syrup. Now when, that, when that's happening, it's like free floating and the body's going, wait a second, you're not supposed to be loose. You got to be somewhere. You can't be just going around damaging stuff. And, and that's exactly what a fructose, that fructose a molecule is, is doing. It's like, it's kind of like a free radical, but it's, it's a free floating. I'm not saying it is a free radical, I'm saying it's kind of like a free radical roaming around, causing damage, and, and doing stuff it's not supposed to be. So what happens is the body in its infinite wisdom says, you can't do that, and then it basically takes it and stores it as fat so it can't do any more damage. And it literally does, it just snatches it up and stores it in the fat cells and and that's why high fructose corn syrup makes you fat so if you just take fructose as a simple sugar like it like it is in its natural state in like fruit right fructose fruit it's good and, and don't let any of those idiot doctors tell you that fructose isn't isn't good. The only reason when fructose isn't good is when it's in high fructose corn syrup. Okay, so sucrose is a good sugar. Your body wants sugar. Actually, when you take in sugar, your body is actually more powerful and your body wants to burn sugar. It doesn't want to burn fat. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to make chocolate syrup for your ice cream, or for or for or for chocolate, you know, I you know I mix the chocolate syrup with my uh, goat's milk, and it's and it's so yummy. I mean, I'm I'm telling you, it's awesome.
So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get some water. I'm going to get a cup of water. Now make sure that uh, your water goes through uh, some type of like filter, okay? Because regular water, like from the tap, has you know fluoride and a bunch of other chemicals, and especially uh, chlorine, and you really just don't want to be taking that stuff in. It's basically poison. So I'm just gonna put this water in. Turn up the heat, and we're going to let that just start to heat up just a little tiny bit. Then we're going to mix in a nice half a cup of cocoa powder. Just take a little whisk. This is my baby whisk. And just start to blend it with the water. I want to just make sure that all the clumps are out. And then over a medium heat, just nice and easy, stir it up. And when you feel that the sugar is, is melting nicely, what you do is you just take a little pinch of salt, nothing major, and just toss it in there. And that's really it. Just keep stirring, and then for three minutes, you just put the timer on, boom, 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 start, three minutes, and just keep stirring it. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna make you watch me do this for three minutes, but I will do a little time lapse thing. Okay, so now we let that cool. We we turn this off. Just give it a little baby stir, a little bit. Then we let it sit and we let it cool. And that's really it. It's pretty easy. I mean, it really only took about five minutes to make. And it's a lot healthier for you. And so, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to take my haagen ice cream. They're not paying me, but I really only eat a haagen Because if you look at the ingredients, they're very simple. Cream, milk, sugar, 
egg yolks, vanilla extract. Pretty easy. So, you know, and we need our fat. So I like to get my fat with my dairy. So some ice cream. Now not too much. I don't have the whole quart or anything like that because that would be, you know, then you're a glutton and you'll die a fat pig. But you're allowed to have ice cream. You're allowed to have some good stuff. You know, I'm going to have a little bit of ice cream. And I, you know, I had already made some of the syrup. So, and it looks just like the Hershey syrup. Take a little look. And it pours the same way. But the reality is, is that it tastes a million times better. So you're better off with this. Mmm. Oh man, damn, that's good. So, I'm going to take a spoon. While that's cooling down, I'm going to have some ice cream. Look at that. Mmm. 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 